this is Amy with Leap of Faith Crafting, and today I just wanted to go over how to um, make an SVG file with just like text um, or wording um, in Inkscape. So this is a free program you can download. So this is mostly, it's not how to make layers and things like that, but more if you want to make a file to sell in an Etsy store or to give away or something like that. So when you open Inkscape, this comes up and we're just gonna enter, um, click the A over here, which is the text button, and then use your cursor to click over here. And up here, I'm gonna go down, these are all your texts that are in your computer. I'm gonna go into something I know that I like. So let's say the script font. And I'm going to type welcome. And then I'm going to click on another spot so that they're separated. And then I'm going to use a different font. We'll just do the Amistry hand here. Say to our home. Okay, so the thing with the text in Inkscape is that you need to put it on a path. So I'm gonna come up up here and click the arrow key up on the left-hand side, or you can click your S for selection on your keyboard. And I'm gonna click on this one so it makes the box round. And then up here under path, you'll see it says object to path, or you can do the shift control C. Those are your shortcuts, but you're gonna click object to path, and then under object, now you can ungroup these and you'll see that they all go in separate letters. And so at this point, if you wanted, you can change them a little bit and you know make the W bigger if you wanted, um, say something like that. And I'm gonna go back <clears throat> with my cursor and put a square around those ones get all of them and then come back up to object actually under path and you're going to click union and that's like the attach in Cricut design space so <clears throat> now I have that one so I'm going to do the same thing with all of these I'm going to go up to path object to path and then if I don't want to ungroup them I'm just going to click union and again with this one object to path and union so if you wanna make them bigger, you can um, hold down your shift and your control key, and that will keep them in the aspect ratio. And you can put these however you like. And you can even use the arrow keys on your keyboard to make them go up or down. If we want to align all of these, I'm gonna put a box around the whole thing. And over here on align and distribute, I'm gonna click this. And up here is the center. So that centers everything. And then I'm actually gonna put these in a group now. So up on object, go down to group or control G on your keyboard and now that puts it in a group. So now that is all ready. So if you wanna add like a few extras, I use a lot in my actual, um, the text that I have, a lot of them you can see will have these extra, actually doodles or pictures and things like that if you wanna add some flourishes or some um, swishes like this one. So say if you want to, I'm just starting to type letters. So that was my A, S, D, F. And I see F looks, so I'm gonna push F and then hit my select one and bring that over. And if you wanna rotate it, you click on this twice and you get the rotating function. And click back once. Say if you wanna make that bigger I want to put something like that in 
or if I go back to text, um, so those are the ones that come up with that black butter swash. Up here, if I go into my Amistry's extras, So say I want to do, and this is just as I type, and you can go to wordmarket.com and see what all of these are. And I'm sure I don't use Inkscape. I'm not a professional on this one by any means. I only know how to do a few things on it to make some SVG files. But there probably is a way that will show you all the extra characters. But like I showed you in my other video that I'll link below, um, you can go to Word Market and see. So let's say we'll just use this butterfly. Get rid of that. Click on that twice to kind of rotate it. And delete these. So this also, since it's actually a text, you are gonna need to convert this click the path, object to the path, and then union. And then I'm gonna group all of these, put in a square around them. And you can also right clip and go down a group. So now this one is ready to ex export. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna to go to save as, and we will do welcome to our home and I'm going to save this as a plain SVG file and you can see down on the drop down menu there's all sorts of things the EPS you can save it um, a PNG um, these are all different ones you can do a compressed Inkscape if it's too big so I'm going to put that and then click save so now if I come over into Cricut Design Space and open up a new project and let's upload a file and I click upload, browse and it was on my desktop. I'm just gonna start, welcome to our home right there. So sometimes this comes up and I just hit continue um, so you see now that this comes up and it's all ready to go. You don't need to do anything with it. And you can click save. And click it and insert the image. And so this now, if it was something that you were selling or sent to someone, um, <clears throat> you can see over here that you can ungroup it now. <clears throat> so if you ungroup then all these things are separate now, um, so they can move it. But this, let me ungroup this again. But the things that I had attached together will stay together in here. So all those ones are together. So, um, so that's it for converting the um, just text. So the main thing is that you're gonna need to make it into a path. And you'll notice sometimes if you do this and if you forget to take, make one into a path when you go to bring it over into design space, say if I forgot this butterfly, it will not show up when you go to try to upload it. So if that happens, then come back and make sure that you've converted that to um, the, the object to the path up here. So that's just the basic way to do it. And there's all sorts of other things in here that you can use um, you know, if you want to make things obviously different colors and things like that, you can come down and make the color if you ungroup it. Say just click on him. You know, you can make these different colors and things like that. Um, and that's another easy one too. So, um, so anyway, I hope that helps. Um, just kind of getting you started with just the text options and converting that into an SVG. 
So please let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much for stopping by.